Hello and welcome to tkkmobile.com. I'm playing with the Vilib S5 and uh, you may notice something different there as uh, I'm actually I have actually installed Windows 7 on it. This is the ultimate version and it's the uh, release candidate one, so the latest build. And uh, it's actually running pretty nicely here. Here, let's do some opening control panel. That's typically takes some time, so nothing major there. Let's uh, open paint. It's a bit slow on my taste. Uh, I have full uh, uh, IRO running, uh, not the shadows, not the not the uh, transparency, but everything else is on and. Uh, it seems decent, not perfect, but decent. Now, on the on the hardware side, actually everything is working here, which is a good thing. Let's open the device manager just to see it. So, Vilib has has done a great job on on the drivers and uh, and software is for the S5 5, as you can. You you don't really need much much drivers to to make it work so the only thing absolutely necessary is the atom control and then the then the software to enable disable wi-fi and so on but like you can see we have all we have bluetooth working display adapter working everything is is fine and uh, no stupid stuff going on so so i was pretty pleased with the result the installation was Oh, not not the easiest, but not the hardest. And uh, I I will actually post the uh, the the cheat list or or help list on my site. So jump to JKK Mobile to to check how to install. There are some uh, things that you should do first, and and then other things second, so on. But it's working nicely. It's a bit slower, like like I said, but uh, still useful. Uh, one of the Key things on uh, on Windows 7, of course, is the is the touch friendly things, which are actually not that touch friendly. But I will show you the good stuff first. So let's open the uh, Notepad. Let's open the on-screen keyboard. So let's type something. So the on-screen keyboard looks like this. It's quite nice looking. It's uh, quite okay sized uh, for this kind of device let's do some typing let's do jkk and as you can see i've al already teach jkk mobile to to the keyboard so it's suggesting that here so jkk mobile works fine then if you would just type something like uh, hello again suggesting here it's suggesting that i should type hello how are you? So as you can see, the keyboard is quite nice. I'm using the stylus so you can see better, but actually using fingers is is working quite nicely. I'm, I like this keyboard. It's it's okay. Now something that's not so okay is that actually this is now integrated fully on the on the Windows, but not necessary to all the softwares. So let's try to search something on. A, on YouTube, uh, let's search something. Well, then you know that JKK is already teached there, so no, it doesn't suggest anything. So, keyboard is just like a keyboard there and not suggesting any words. And that's, I found that that really strains us and, and of course, really bad for me because I, I use Firefox all the time. So, stupid it is here and there. Okay, then let's go back to Note and let's do some handwriting so let's do the same JKK and as you can see I can write and it answer, uh, it uh, shows the right thing but I've already te teach that word so let's just start type uh, writing let's see yeah, again it's it's working fine but as you could see the 
handwriting doesn't look that good because uh, is, this is a normal touch screen so so uh, it's uh, it's more or less thinking that we are using a mouse so it's not like a really good quality ink if, if that would recall but it works you can do it if you have patient enough uh, and you can easily teach words to it so that's that's cool thing I, I like it, it was okay on Vista, but this is even even better. And especially the on-screen keyboard, I like that a lot. But the stupid things continue, as uh, even this is a touchscreen device, that all the touchscreen stuff is not actually enabled. Even, uh, I think, uh, Microsoft and, and others who are, uh, uh, are showcasing Windows 7 are saying that now the 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 finger friendly stuff and the tablet pc stuff is is so great on on windows 7 but if you have a normal touch screen and you ha don't have active digit digitizer and special drivers you can't actually use uh, most of the settings so right now i would like to use this search if i had a tablet uh, touch or, or active digitizer here with special drivers the small on-screen keyboard uh, pop-up would pop up immediately here when I'm trying to type something or write something and then it would open the on-screen keyboard nicely just on the right place but now if I try to use the search nothing happens if I launch the keyboard it actually loses the focus so I have to typically touch again to where I want to write and then start writing so not that nice for normal touchscreen users still doable but uh, I would really like to see Microsoft enable the, the, these features on all the softwares and also um, letting us to have like a button to to say I have a touch screen now please enable everything it's really stupid that they don't let you do that so basically you have exactly the same features as you would have on your desktop on, on a UMPC or or a netbook with a touch screen if you don't have a special touchscreen with all, all these uh, Windows 7 drivers. So another stupidity I have to show of course these stupidities are not uh, problems uh, from uh, about the VLFS5 but uh, Microsoft stupidities so let's check this out. So now I'm on, on uh, Internet Explorer 8 and as you has, have seen on some uh, videos that you can scroll anywhere like just like I did on a Firefox. No, no way. Again, if your touchscreen isn't a special tablet touchscreen or active digitizer, Windows doesn't let you use the hand hand to scroll anywhere. So we can try to customize, we can try to search search that there, but no, it's not there. If we had the special drivers, then it would automatically have the hand icon on over here and we could enable it but again super stupid thing nope it's not there so for me Windows uh, Internet Explorer 8 is totally unusable because I would have to always scroll from the scroll bars and here on the uh, Firefox the scrolling is nice because I can scroll nicely anywhere from the screen so <laughs> stupid things upgrade a huge upgrade on on browser but it's it's totally totally bad on a touchscreen device but of course Firefox works fine uh, other than that Windows 7 has been showing a nice battery life uh, I would even say that a bit better than on uh, on XP in some cases uh, all the settings working fine like screen brightness setting you can do the menu button and volume if, if you want or then straight from the from the Vlive software let's open the software so you can see so you can easily adjust brightness brightness same goes with the volume same goes with the with the other settings nothing major anywhere even you, know, you remember this my model is the 3G model and and that's working too so I can I can connect to the street 3G straight from the from the system tray which is nice I have to first enable it and, and put the settings with the with the uh, mobile manager software sorry mobile manager software or I can of course connect from that too but 
but it's not necessary now as the Windows 7 has it on a system tray, it's cool. So everything working, but uh, I'm not yet sure if I want to continue using this. Uh, one thing I have to say, I installed this on one of my own small SSDs and it's not the fastest one, so I would I would really suggest that if you really want to go with a with a Windows 7 and you you want to uh, want it to be fast, uh, one way would be using a, a basic theme. I'm using Aero with all the goodies, basic theme, and uh, uh, the second thing if you want to have Aero and all the goodies enabled, then maybe maybe buy a, a high speed SSD for it. I will be showing by the way the SSD stuff on this this pretty soon so then you then you know how to how to upgrade the HDD to bigger HDD or SDD sorry SSD overall I was I was happily surprised that everything is working so so in that sense it's always always a good thing it would be as uh, painful if you, you, you couldn't, couldn't use the hardware button or, or something else but everything is working just like it, it should be standby is nice it's quite fast let, let me show you that going into standby takes more time than coming back okay standby and now let's go back and here we go working nicely so if you are interested in installing the Windows 7 on the Vilibes 5, check my site ckkmobile.com for full instructions to get started. Uh, I think it's good to uh, check those uh, instructions because I, I've been really trying to make it like a clean install without hassle. So when I started installing it, I actually had to do it a few, few uh, occasions to make it right from the start. Otherwise, you have to be testing all the time all the software and so on and again reminder if you're installing XP software on, on Windows 7 use the compatibility mode and uh, and run it as administrator if it doesn't work else I think I will leave the Windows 7 for now on on this to evaluate it a bit more I'm in many ways liking but of course hating the fact that you can't get all the features, which will, will, would actually help a lot on the use, but I will check if we can hack the drivers to make it happen. Okay, that was all for now. Thank you for watching. Next time, something else. Bye.